Hi everybody and big welcome to CDH TV with a competitive gameplay video. In this match I took a deck request from the live stream and I ended up with Pongus Hinnan. With us we have Dev Magic who is bringing his Ishai Tevesh. And now I like to call this deck Flying Tentacles of Doom. With us also we have Keith playing his Demir Big Beholder that is stealing things from the top of his opponent's libraries. And finally with us we have Jason who is playing Tayem Absan. Now this match contains two battles so let's get game one going. But I'm gonna start off by drawing a card. And that's a great card. Here's a command tower. Here's a Mox Diamond pitching this land. Yapamaya Coast. And why not turn one in before those Dranat Magistrates happens? And then I, I pass the turn. I'm gonna draw a card after I mute myself. Well, uh, I think we just hit the mother load. Oh yes, because I'm gonna play Phyrexian Tower into Mana Vault into a Jeweled Lotus. That was the hottest top deck I've seen. Three black, two colorless, leave one colorless floating cat. Tevezad turn one. I, I heard turn one commanders are good, so... Tevez turn one is definitely good. And then I'll make uh, two of my friends so I have something to block with. I will draw... Wow, my turn one play is way less impressive. I'm gonna play Halimar Destros, comes in, ta comes in tap. I'm gonna look at the top three cards in my deck and organize them however I want. Yep, that seems like the right organization. And then I will pass my turn. I'm going to tap a few draw cards. I'm going to play a blue Delta. I'm going to crack it for a Bayou again. And we're going to cast an Arbor Elf. And then I will pass my turn. Verdant Catacombs. Sacrifice Verdant Catacombs for a forest. Tap this for two blue, cost a preordain, floating a blue. Scry two, put one in the bottom and drawing one of the cards. Tap this for green, use the other blue and cost Thrasius. Attack with Hinnan at your Tevesh. Zaf. Now for those of you that don't know why you play Thrasius inside Hinnan, it's because Thrasius is the outlet. It's very easy to generate infinite colorless mana, but you need to have colored mana to win with Kinnan, but Thrasius can fix that winning from colorless mana. I will not block. Then I pass the turn. Uh, upkeep, I will not pay for my mana vault, so I will draw a card and lose life to it. I will play a City of Brass, go to 5 to sack a Thrall to draw 2 cards. Draw and I will play my Polluted Delta that I knew was on top. I will crack it and go get an Underground Sea. I'm gonna tap 2, cast Talisman, and then I will pass the turn. I'm going to untap a few draw cards. I'm going to play Guy's Cradle, a Q. I'm going to cast a Dark Confidant. I will then pass my turn. Draw a card. Here's a Blue Delta. We're going to sacrifice. Do we have any op agents? Nope. You're good. Happy to hear that. This is uh, island. We're attacking with everything at the Tevesh Saf, the Doom guy. Before blocks, I will sack a Thrall, make two black. Ooh. And add a white. No, don't. And I'll flash in a Kafar Commando. What? <laughs> Kafar Commando is a pretty awesome white card for a CDH. You normally use it by paying one mana to sacrifice it to destroy target artifact and enchantment. It comes in for only two mana and it has flash, but an awesome power attack of three. That means, for example, in this scenario, you can use it to protect Tevesaf here to block against one of these two attackers and we're actually gonna get rid of one of these two attackers as well <laughs> what Th sure th this is the 98th I, card i know it's a great card free one right so you can kill any one of my creatures yes and i will actually take your frasios i guess you would killing would... frasios over kinnan is absolutely the right play here because we usually need frasios to win once we kind of have the infinite colorless mana but also, it's better to usually pump mana into Frasius compared to pumping mana into Kinnan. I will activate Frasius in response. Uh, looking at the top, putting that on the bottom, revealing a miscast. Miscast goes to hand and Frasius dies. Pass the turn there. I will not pay for mana vault, draw a card. I will play a deserted beach. Go to five, make two thralls. I will sack one for two black. I will use it to cast a Wish Claw Talisman. Absolutely. And then I will lose one more life. And I will cast a Reanimate targeting Kinnan. Oh, you mean Frasius? 
Frasius. Uh, Frasius, yeah. I want your Frasius. And nothing. Yeah, that's fine. I have a response to this. I want to cast my miscast on your reanimation. You can't have it. Cool. I got the counter spell out of you. That was the whole point. And then I will pass the turn. Untap. Raw. I'm going to play Dark Slick Shores because I. He's un it is untapped because I have two or less other lands. I think I wait patient. I will pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap, upkeep, the compound trigger. I'll build Jewel Lotus. I'll take zero. Go turn. Play Jewel Lotus. I'm going to rack it for three white, black, green. That's the time. I'm floating a green still from Guy's Cradle. I'm going to tap a rope to untap Bayou. I'm going to tap Bayou to cast a Wall of Roots. I am then going to pass it. I'm gonna play a Rejuvenating Springs as a land drop. I'm gonna tap blue there and two here and cast a Time Whister. I'm okay with that. I got nothing. Very good on Time Twister. I'm gonna pay a blue. And I'm going to Pongify Keenan. Yeah, sure. I don't see a reason not to do it. I'm going to Force of Negate that. I have a response. Swan Song, Dead Force. So, Mons, you get a board. I'm glad... Let's actually pause for a second because I do want to talk about this little scenario. In the end, Keenan was killed because Death Magic helped out with a Swan Song in the Counterspell War to get my Keenan Pongified. But even if he wouldn't have done that, casting the Force of Negation to protect Keenan was a misplay in my opinion. Because, look over here. That's a Wish Claw Talisman. Here are four. Oh, I'm, I'm tapped out. I'm gonna get a new hand, but I have no mana. And we're passing turn to someone who's gonna untap with everything of this and get a new hand of seven. So I'm gonna get a new hand of seven, and it's really good to have some untapped mana to be ready for death magic here. I think this is a common misplay that a lot of us are doing from time to time. Our commanders are being killed by a kill spell, and we wanna protect it, but we forget that it's not important to always win the battle. But it is important to win the war. I can easily recast Kinnan on my next turn. I'm glad we're doing the time twister because this is me hand. Here are my two tokens. The 2-2 two -two bird and the 3-3 free -free monkey. I will pass the turn here. I will untap, upkeep, uh, not pay for mana vault draw. I will play Prismatic Vista, crack it so I lose one for an island. I have a basic island somewhere here. <laughs> top comment today, a Vigilant Wall. Indeed. That is the top comment so far today. <laughs> there, we got the island. I'll sack the Thrall for two black. Use one of those black to activate Wishclaw Talisman. I will give it to, uh, to Mont. I'll take the Wishclaw. Then I would like to go to Tudor, if that's okay. Black. I'll tap this for double blue and cast the fastest oracle. Yikes. <sighs> well, I can't. Uh, I might be able to do something about this. God, I hate this one. Attempt to cast Dark Ritual. Ad Nos, I gotta get a force. I will respond to your Ad Nos. I think I'll respond to the Ad Nos. No, I will not respond to the Ad Nos. Ad Nos away, my friend. All right. If it kills me, you're gonna win this turn anyways, so there's no loss there. So City Brass goes to hand. There's a Saga goes to hand. Scheming Symmetry, I take one. I take two. Why? Well, total two. Seven, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <sighs> 31, 32, 33. You could literally try to gamble here for it. I mean, he's obviously going to put... Yeah, he's going to win, so... You might as well... I die. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I bust. <laughs> Up here into the abyss. <laughs> and what a car to finish off Keith in Adnos. Pier. <laughs> and this is where Death Magic just looks at top two and pass turn. <laughs> right? <laughs> ETB hold priority, lose one life, cast demonic consultation. I got nothing. I also got nothing here. I will name Black Lotus. I will exile my entire library. Passes Oracle trigger. Pass. You got it. Good game. Nice. Good game. Yeah, that was cool. Let's go game two. I'll do a similar dance as I did last time. I'll do a Morphic Pool and a Jeweled Lotus. And I'll cast Ishai, cracking the loot Lotus for white. That is a really good turn one, because it's gonna grow pretty quick. That's the turn. And I will crack it now before anyone can get the mana to play an op agent. Go get an Underground C. Pass the turn. I will draw a card. I'll play a Wood of Blackhells. I'm gonna crack it for a Bayou. And I'm going to cast a Birth Paradise. And then I will pass my turn. 
My bird is growing. I will do loot the delta that was sacrificed immediately. Finding a tropical island. Tap this for a soul ring. Tap the soul ring for a talisman of curiosity. And we're not done yet, folks. We are pumping out a Fiendon Elves and passing the turn. It's a lot of mana next turn, Mons. <laughs> Alright, who's on Adnals, boys? Not me. Uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Draw a card for the turn. I will play a silent clearing, lose one life, Mons, and I'll cast an Ifris one cannonist. Pretty good card. Pretty amazing card. If you're on Adnos, take five. Uh, I will not. Chain of Vapor. He will grow, and then he'll go back to my hand. Are you going to continue the chain? Definitely not. Pass the turn. Draw Dusk Mantle for my land. I will cast Chrome Mox and imprint a Notion Thief. Two, and attempt to cast Demonic Tutor. I got nothing. I got nothing, too. Cool. I'll play a Marsh Plants as my lamp turn. I am then going to crack it for a Scrubland. Shuffle two. And I will play probably the best top deck tutor I could have. Top deck I could have asked for is the Dranite Magistrate. I have a response to your Dranite Magistrate. I think I have to do this. Try to stop kidding. Coming out next turn. Exactly. That's why I'm forcing it. It's 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 a uh, resculpt. I will then pass the turn. Draw a card. Scalding Tarn land. Drop sacrifice scalding tarn find a snow covered island tap out my two lands for a kinan i have actually have a kinan activation and yeah that's what we're doing and we are activating kinan revealing the top because that's more fun oh I find a gilded drake look at that nice catch what are you stealing with gilded drake probably the birds might honestly be the bird i mean <laughs> it's more mana i this is the this is the weakest gilded drake in the entire world but we are taking the bird of paradise it's really cool to get a gilded drake from a kinan activation it's just a little bit sad it's nothing cool to steal in the end i'm getting a bird of paradise that will tap for two because of my kinnan at the very least okay you got my birds and i get you drake I'm not super happy about that one but sure <laughs> then i pass the turn i'm tap upkeep draw i will play polluted delta crack it so i'll bolt myself for a watery grave cast a my only spell for the turn a Dolphy void walker and then i'll pass Toxic Deluge. Who has the biggest butt on the table? Three, then. I have a response. Uh, lose one life. Cast my one-time use Tevizad called Village Rights and sack Ephrasaur Cannonus as an additional cost. Fair enough. Draw two cards. And then everything else that dies gets into my Dothy pile. And then Dothy dies. And then I'll crack my Polluted Delta. <laughs> now the Dothy's gone. I will go get my Shock Land. I will not shock it into play, and I will pass the turn. I'm going to draw a card. The green cast a wild growth on my scrub land. I'm going to cast a survival of this. I will then pass my turn. I would like to give a shout out to Mental Misplay that raided us during our live stream. They are a different live streaming CDH group. And if you're interested in some live stream CDH stuff, there will be a link for Mental Misplay in the description below of the video. Pretty cool group, you should definitely check them out. They have some really amazing passion and energy in that live stream. I'm going to take my turn and why not do a 4 mana Kinan, right? Why not? Then take damage from this and cause the Bird of Paradise and uh, pass the turn. I will untap upkeep draw a card. I would like to Misty Rainforest uh, get... I guess I'll get a hollowed fountain there, and I'll shuffle in a bit because I think it is time to not take a damage, but to cast a Rhystic Study. Yikes. Pass. I got nothing for Rhystic. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Rhystic resolves. Pass the turn. Untap. I will pay three, including the one for Rhystic Study, and attempt to cast Wishclaw Talisman. I got nothing. I also have nothing. Pass the turn. I'm going to talk. I'm going to play Jewel Lotus. Crack Jewel Lotus for three with three green, white, black, floating a green from the wild growth, and I'm going to cast Triumph. Are you, for how many of those spells did you pay for Rhystic is the question. I will use the um, floating green to pay for Triumph's Rhystic. I can't, I'm not going to pay the Jewel Lotus Rhystic because I'm missing my land drop. That's my turn. Draw a card. I'm going to think for a second. Oh, I know. This is this is a hard game. One blue, uh, soldering, costing, fabricate. Paying extra for your Rhystic study. Cool. 
And the clear obvious target, Basalt Monolith. Yep, make infinite mana. That's what it does. Two blue mana from Basalt, from uh, Talisman of Creativity, losing a life. Two green from the Bird of Paradise. And one mana here that is blue as well. Casting Basalt Monolith. Ristic Study Trigger. You may draw that one. Then I will respond to the draw card, pay one life and cast a Vampiric Tutor. Have a response to your Vamp Tutor, uh, Mental Mista. You can draw from this one though. I will draw this card first. Can someone stop his uh, Mental Mista? That's a negative. Uh, Vamp Tutor gets countered and I, well, I still get to draw even though the Vampiric Tutor gets countered. You do. Let's hope it's a doozy. Nope. Oh, I'm F6. I will use Basalt Monolith and the Kinan combo that is uh, making it infinite colorless. I, I, I have Tesseret. Okay. Okay. Does that win you the game? I think so, because I think there's this artifact that can... What, what's the name of this artifact? This cl clone artifact that copies itself to something. If you're wondering about my confusion regarding what's inside this deck as I'm activating Tetsrit, searching the deck for an artifact, it's because I actually have no idea what's inside this deck, because I was given this deck. But I have a experienced knowledge about the Keenan in general, so I'm estimating that there is a very specific artifact in here that will make me win here. Yeah, Mirage Mirror, I think it is. That's the name. There we go, Mirage Mirror. Oh, that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put infinite stacks between first make a copy of Tropical, then make a copy of Basalt Monolith, then make a copy of Tropical, then make a copy of Basalt Monolith. And so it becomes a Tropical, I'll tap it for a blue. It will then become a copy of Basalt Monolith, I will untap it. It will then become a copy of Tropical, I will tap it. It will then become a copy of Basalt, and I untap it. Let's actually explain this combo a little bit more in detail, because Mirage Mirror actually loses this specific ability when the first ability of this resolves. But what I'm doing, I'm keeping priority on the first ability and I'm putting infinite Mirage Mirror activated abilities on the stack. So it's first gonna become a tropical island, then the, the ability is gonna resolve and it's gonna become a basalt monolith. It no longer has this ability, but there are still infinite of these on the stack to change it over and over to different things. And here I have infinite mana. Oh, yeah. Give me a second, I just need to actually win because I don't know how to win yet. Yes, I'm gonna activate until I find Thrasius. And how do I win? I will draw a bunch of cards. Here, here, here we go. Final the Devastation. I will, ban I will put a bunch of creatures in play like these dorks. You don't have creatures blockers because Hull Breacher. X equal infinite, attack, with the gain haste and win. There we go. Yeah. There we go, you got there. One win for death and one win for me. Hope you liked the battle, guys. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you want to support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Player's website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.